Hello painters, today we're back with episode 3 of Painting the Monster Manual A to Z with the Diva Angel. For this uh, mini we're using the Reaper Angel of Shadows. Starting off with Zenithal Priming, we're going to first coat the wings with Reaper Ghost White. After that's dry, we're going to give it a coat of Citadel Drakenhof Nightshade mixed with Army Painter Quick Shade Mixing Medium. About 50 50 mix. And you cover the entire wing. Make sure it doesn't pull up, blot off any excess. Now if that's dry, we're going to go back to our ghost white and dry brush the wings. Next up we've got Reaper Stormy Gray and we're going to use this to base coat all of the skin. Starting with the face and bosom and the shoulders, both hands and a little bit of the legs that are showing. Next up we've got Secret Weapon Verdigree Pale Green. We're going to paint the outer dress with this. And this will probably require two coats. Up next, we're going to use a wash of Citadel Peel Tan Green. Once again, mixing in some Army Painter Quick Shade Mixed Medium. And we're going to cover all of the Verdigree Green. Try not to get on the wings. Wick away any excess. All right, next up we've got Scale 75 Adriatic Blue. We'll use that to paint the inner dress. Now 
This one will probably require two coats as well. Now I've got some Citadel Drakenhof Nightshade like once more using the, sa the same stuff that we used for the wings and going over the blue dress. Next up we've got Vallejo Model Air Armor Brown. And we're going to cover the leg armor and the chest armor. And the boots. Next up, we've got Vallejo Game Color Scruffulous Brown. We're going to use that to highlight the armor. It's trying to hit the raised areas. Leave some of the armor brown showing through. I'm doing one more coat of the armor brown, or the scruffulous brown. Focusing more on the very center of all the highlights. All right, now back to our secret weapon verdigree. Now we're going to trace all the the high folds on the dress. Since we use the darker green wash, this will act as a highlight. I've added a little uh, pure white to our Adriatic blue to do the highlight for the blue part of the dress. Second pass with the same color. All right, now we're on our misty gray to highlight the skin. Reaper misty gray. The top of the nose, cheekbones, the chin tops of the breasts and shoulders and the hands make sure and get back behind her neck now we're going to coat all the flesh with citadel known oil Try to be really careful not to get this on any of the other parts.
and back to our misty gray to re-highlight. Up next, we've got Vallejo Model Color Ivory, and we're going to paint the hair with that. And I'm also using the ivory on the floral trim on the green part of the dress. Next we've got Secret Weapon Soft Body Wash, Soft Body Black Wash, and we're covering the hair with that. Then Secret Weapon Copper Fixtures for the handle on the sword and the hilt. And also the necklace. Then we've got Vallejo Metal Color Magnesium for the sword blade. And Army Painter Greedy Gold for a quick dry brush over the sword handle and hilt. And then carefully highlight the necklace. Now I've got Vallejo Metal Color Silver. I'm just painting the top half of the blade. And back to our Metal Color Magnesium for the lantern. Next up, Reaper Lemon Yellow to paint the pane, the glass panes in the lantern. This will take two or three coats, especially if you've got the magnesium all over it. And then I do a, I did a final highlight of the ivory in the center of the lemon yellow. But anyway, there's our finished product. If you liked the video, please like. If you'd like to see more, subscribe. Check out my Twitch and Patreon listed in the links in the description below. Thanks and see you next time.